Liz Haywood Sullivan, thanks for joining me. Today we'll be painting my absolute favorite subject, snow. I'll show you how to use an underpainting to prepare your surface to place the snow down on top of. We will discuss the color of snow. It can be so blue and indigo and pink and all these other colors. We will also talk about the source of light on snow, whether it's directional light, reflected light, and cast light, how to identify where the light is coming from and what effects it has on the color of snow and how the snow appears. And finally, I'll introduce you to my snow log and show you how you can make one of your own. So let's get started. The other thing I noticed is that um, I look like from here to here and here to here, it looks like it's, it's kind of going downhill where in actuality all this is coming along here and this is kind of receding into the distance a little bit uphill. Now I don't have a ruler with me, so one way you can find a way, always find a way to measure something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape up here and let's see. I have no idea. Am I off? Now here to here, and let's see if I'm off on the other side. So I'm going to go from there to there, and see how much it's dipping down? So this is the bottom of my fence here. It should be up there. I'm off by almost half an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to correct that, I'm going to make a mark for myself saying that really what I want is for it to be doing that. Let's see if that's where I want it. That's about where I want it. And so I'm going to bring my fence up a little higher like that. And then step back and take a look. And I like how that's this is pushing that up a little bit. That's just much more pleasing to me. So that's where I'm going to stay with this. So what's going to happen here is One, two, three, four poke slats. Three, four. See, I've got the dark behind it, so I don't have to put the dark in. Now, what I'll probably do is, um, again, bring some of the sky color, or the, I'm sorry, not the sky color, the, the background color down in so they don't stick out as much. But, this is how I'm going to create those fence posts, is by painting the light that's on top of them, not the dark areas behind them. You can do this with clapboards on the side of a house. You know, now you've got a fence. It's so much fun to do. <laughs> um, now, I do have some shadows that are going down through that. I have to put, break some shadow lines up on this. See how I can do something like that? I'll do that later. Right now I'm going to go through and keep adding. But here I'm going to be start being cognizant of the fact that I do have some shadows and that these are a little bit more broken up. Got shadows coming down across there. <laughs> Instead of white, I don't know if you can see the value difference, but this has got, this is more of a gray blue, so it's toned down in value. So this becomes my light over here, and it's going to come along here and here. I may need to pick it up a little bit more, starting to fill in a little bit. 
But I also have to be aware of things like there's this bright light here, so it's also going to hit across the road here. And it's going to hit here. So there has to be a consistency with where this light's hitting. So this light's going to come down here. And it's going to fly across here. And there's this ridge here that's pretty flat. It's actually catching. And the upper edge of this is flipping up a little bit. So maybe I will pick up some of that bright white and make that upper edge flip up a little bit. Now, can you see how that goes like this? All of a sudden I have, because I've built up all these layers, I can carve into this and I can put something like that down. I can grab a few areas of the bright white just for emphasis on here. But I'm not ready to commit completely to that yet. So there's some edge coming along here.